Good morning, guys. We are back at the Goodwill Retail, and man, does it feel good to be back. I freaking, I was dealing with Rona season. For those of you that didn't know, I was dealing with the Rona season. I quarantined, rested every single day, drank nothing but water, and ate healthy stuff like soup and uh, fruits and vegetables. Man, that was tough, I'm not gonna lie to you. I lost like eight pounds during quarantine, but I'm back, I'm feeling good, I'm negative now, and I also got some hauls uh, in the back because I still have a cough, like in, in, in the back of my throat, you know, it's still making me cough a little bit. So I don't wanna be in there coughing up a storm. Um, so I'm gonna take that, we're gonna go inside, hopefully we can find some good things. We do not have girlfriend with us today, she's actually with her mom, so is what it is. We're gonna try our best, see what we can find. Also, I did order a backpack. Uh, a sling backpack, I call it a slang backpack, uh, for uh, the camera, I'm kind of getting tired of putting it on my head because it does get kind of hot in the Goodwills, so when that backpack comes in, I'm actually going to be going to do like uh, flea markets and garage sales and even Goodwills, and instead of having to put the GoPro on my head, I can attach it to the backpack thing. So yeah, we're going to be waiting on that, let's go inside the Goodwill, see what we can find. It's been a minute since I've been to the Goodwill, man, so I, was, I, I had high hopes, man, these kids were trying to steal some of the things, man. But I ended up finding this refrigerator water filter and I kept it on the shelf because I also found this Google Cardboard and it was the first time that I ever found something like this and I thought that they were worth some really good money. I didn't really have time to look up the prices then and there as I was picking them up because there was other people in the aisle. But uh, these boxes, I just always love checking through these boxes because you never know what they have in there. This one was uh, the, the baby sucker stuff. I still have a little bit of a cough in the back of my throat, so sorry about that. Here comes my man trying to steal my cart. Boom, I let him know who's the big baller here. I went ahead and took my cart as well. <laughs> I don't think he was trying to steal it. I just think it was kind of like in the way. But yeah, you can see there was like kids and everyone's in the aisle trying to find their own thing. And then there's old Moosh with the GoPro on his head trying to find some things to make a profit profit on. So you guys almost never see me look at the back wall, but I do end up going there and I found a Google Pixel 3 and I felt it, the box felt really light, so I wasn't expecting the phone to be in there and of course I go through everything and the phone is not in there. But could you imagine, I wonder who donated the case? for the, uh, not the case, but like the, the actual packaging, who donated that, and how much did they actually get as a tax write-off to donate that? And then I went down the purse aisle. I think this woman in front of me was also a reseller. She looked kind of professional. You see her right there. She looked like a professional woman, man. I think she was trying to find some things to make some money on, but now we're gonna go look through the polos, man. This is my favorite section, man. I love the polo section. The first thing I find is an Armani Exchange tank top, and from face value, when you look at it like I am right now I didn't notice any issues with it but after I took a better look at it there was a couple holes in it so I ended up putting it back this is a brand you don't really see me pick up often. It is a Polo Ralph Lauren, and most of the time in the Goodwills, they are way overpriced, but this Goodwill only wanted $10 for a brand new Polo Ralph Lauren. You have got to pick those up. If you see them brand new or very good condition or cool design, definitely pick those up. I didn't really notice at the time, but this is actually a women's button down, and uh, the difference between men's and women's clothing is that something like a button down would sell for more money for a man uh, than it would for a woman but it's a brand new Columbia button down I ended up picking it up and what's weird is that the Goodwill workers they don't really know either what they put out so they put that in the men's section and then afterwards I find a Callaway you guys know I love picking up Callaway and this was just a very cool I, I like the, the the collar I like the sleeves good brand pick those up all day this is something that I wanted to show you guys. You see me fondling with these uh, tag things that they put on. You can see it's a Callaway. It's a very cool design. You turn the shirt over and look at that. They did not just make one big hole. They made four huge holes in that shirt. And I, I ended up being a good guy. I put the polo back with the other polos. It was actually sitting with the button downs. But that just makes me so upset. And then I find this, whatever. Oh, this was like a Wes and Willie or something like that. Willie and Wes. I did look this up off camera and it's actually not really selling for that much money even though it is a brand new button down it doesn't really sell 
Whenever I find Under Armour button downs, I pretty much never have a second thought. As long as there's no holes and no stains, I pick those up because those can resell for like 21, 22, and sometimes more money. I'm still looking through the button downs, man. I went through all the polos. We're doing good so far. Moving along with the button downs, I couldn't believe how many new things I found. This is a US Polo Association button down, another brand new one, and I think they only wanted like seven or eight dollars, which is so weird because usually they always want Want like ten dollars plus for something new if it says polo or even close to that i just love when i can go through a section in the shirts and find something that someone else left behind there were so many people in this section as i was looking through the polos and button downs and i'm still able to find something to resell this is an under armor t-shirt heat gear loose fit it's a very very good shirt then i'm going on i'm looking more along and look at that we find an adidas t-shirt and normal i mean you don't really ever see me pick these up but i think they wanted three dollars for this so why wouldn't i pick up a three Three dollar Adidas T-shirt, and it's an amplifier tee. If that means anything, it's a very cool, nice designed Adidas for three dollars that I can resell for fifteen dollars. And then I'm looking at that. I had no idea what that was, so I just left that. This was actually a very unique but weird find. I've never seen a Footjoy T-shirt. I've seen them in polos. I think I've seen them in button downs, but to find it in a T-shirt form. I ended up not actually buying it. Let me know down in the comments if that was good or bad. I also found this Brady shirt. They wanted a little too much money, and this is something that you can get at Walmart. But as for the Footjoy t-shirt, let me know if I missed out on that because I looked it up on eBay, couldn't find it, and then I only found one other on Poshmark selling for $12, so that's why I didn't pick it up. More and more, they've been bringing out these yellow bins in my Goodwills. There was another lady here before me that I saw scavenging, so I didn't really find anything for myself. But for you, if you do have the time to look through these bins, always look through them. You never know what you can find, and sometimes you might even find the big baller. Look at this parking lot, dude. Park all the way in the back. You already know it's a nightclub in here. So even though girlfriend did not come with me today, I did start with the polo shirt section uh, because I had a lot of success in the last Goodwill and it continued on. I found this Sperry polo. The only issue was it was marked down to like $14 at whatever store it sold before this Goodwill. You guys have absolutely no idea how long I was looking at this white penguin polo. I did find a stain on it and then I did find tears on it, but it took me probably 15 minutes of just inspecting it and that's what you have to do when you're buying clothes you have to look at every single last centimeter to make sure that there's no problems on the clothing that you're trying to resell if you guys watched my previous eBay video, you saw me pick up a seven diamonds button down. Now, I thought because the button down was worth some good money reselling, I thought the polo would have been worth some good money too, but the polo really wasn't worth it. Then I found this three Barcelona polo. I did end up looking this one up and this one again really wasn't worth it. So those two shirts I showed you, not worth it. Now I had a pretty big brain moment here. I found this Aero Polo. It was new with tags, MSRP $40, and it was an XL. But the thing is I found a previous one right here, which was the same size, new with tags as well. So my thought was is because these don't really resell good by themselves, I could buy both of these for $5 each, lot them up together on eBay, right? You see you put them together, and then I could resell it for much more money. That was a very big brain moment by me and my good luck just kept continuing I found a Callaway not only is it a Callaway it's a brand new large Callaway polo you can see where my finger is pointing through the shirt there was a little bit of a mess up there but this shirts MSRP is like $75 and I think the Goodwill wanted like six dollars or seven dollars for it so you know I had to pick that shirt up and then I find another shirt it's a Vineyard Vines this one again I for some reason I keep finding Vineyard Vines with no whale on the shirt. If the whale is not on the shirt for a Vineyard Vines, do not get it because it's going to be very, very difficult to sell and probably it won't even sell for a very long time. And the streak just continues. I found a brand new Brooks Brothers uh, button down. Now this one did have a problem with it. I did pick it up for the time being, but later on when I went through and took a deeper look at it, there was some issues with it. But at the end of the day, I'm just finding so many brand new things. And I thought this was cool. Tommy Hilfiger really isn't what it used to be. So I did end up putting this back. So this was a weird moment 
moment for me. You see me looking at this uh, football cocktail shaker, but look at this. Literally, my camera just looks directly at this Nano Drone Sky Viper M550, and I, I, I'm, I'm, it's brand new. Not only is the football shaker thing that I found brand new, but this Nano Drone is also brand new. I'm literally finding everything brand new. I'm, and look how much it's reselling for. This thing is like going for thirty dollars, and it's just sitting there. No one's picking it up. If, if no one else wants it, I'll get it. Why not? So after looking through the middle bins, I'm, I'm. I'm, I, oh, I couldn't believe it guys I'm sorry dude this is literally I just started looking at the t-shirts it was a little dirty but this is a Patagonia t-shirt man just sitting here all the way at the beginning look I'm not in the middle of the aisle I'm at the beginning it was like the third shirt bro and I'm looking at this this is a North Face I never find North Face in my Goodwills unfortunately this one did have a problem but later on I did find another North Face which I actually did pick up but this one's so clean man if i would have bought this i would have bought it for myself to try to clean it up but there was kind of a lot of stains on it and here is the north face in question really good shirt really nice shirt they wanted five dollars i'll probably resell it for like 16 to 18 dollars somewhere in that figure yes sir ski we just got out of the second goodwill i ended up spending another 45 dollars the total was like 44.73 <coughs> crap i still got that cough it was like 44.73 but i ended up going up to 45 it just makes it easier when i'm adding all of my totals of how much i spent on products at the end of the year for taxes it just makes it a little easier in my opinion uh but i am on the way now to a third thrift store now this is not a goodwill i looked this place up it's actually on the way back to my house uh sort of it's kind of it's kind of on the way back uh it's it's like thrift city or something like that and i've heard of them before i've seen them before they actually changed locations now to a different one and i've never been there so i'm gonna go uh gps my way there now and i'm really trying to go hard on ebay man i realized when i was sick I wasn't making any money with DoorDash. I couldn't, right? I had the Rona. Uh, so the only money that I was making was eBay. And I just, I, I, I'm really trying to take it seriously. I'm really trying to get as many products as I possibly can. Good products. There were products in there that I picked up that I might have shown you guys in the video that I ended up putting back, like the Penguin Polo, brand new Penguin Polo that I found. It had a little stain on it. I was like, okay, I'm uh, for thirty dollars. I was gonna resell for thirty dollars, buy it for seven. I was like, okay, yeah, we we could we could do that. But then I found like rips and tears in other places. I was like, yeah, forget about that. So I, I'm really trying to stock up on good inventory that will move, and uh, I'm willing to spend more time shopping to achieve that goal so now we're going to go to a third thrift store let's see what we can find all right guys i just got to the thrift city usa this place looks kind of dirty and and the pictures i didn't see that there was a smoke shop next door so i'm gonna go in it says blue tags half off i don't know about this all right he looks kind of big in there let's see if we can find bed frame on floor this is literally the only decent thing I found at this thrift store. It's a Thai little beanie baby thing. I looked through all of the clothes. I looked through all, everything. I pretty much looked through everything before I got to this kid's toy section. And that's it. I mean, just look around. Everything is... Come, like it's used yes like at the goodwills but it's all broken and it's just crusty and not good all righty guys i just got out of thrift city usa i went in there with pretty low expectations i didn't end up buying anything from there i i don't know how much i really showed inside through the gopro but everything was so old and and very very used i looked through all of the polos all of the button downs and i didn't i didn't find a single good brand Right, there was some Eddie Bauer uh, and some stuff like this, but they were like either totally stained, totally ripped, or just like they were crusty how old they were. So I'm probably never going to come back to Thrift City. Uh, I'm not bashing them, it's just they don't have what I need. I I'm looking for things to buy for profit, right? If you're just kind of like low on budget and you need some clothes, you know, this is the place for you, but it's not really the place for me. I'm going to stick with the Goodwills that I go to, and I'm going to keep looking up different places I can go. I have been thinking of going back to Ross, because uh, Ross does have some good clearance stuff that you could potentially find. Uh, so I'm, I'm probably going to go back to Ross. Probably not TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx is a little expensive, but I'm going to keep looking around, man. I'm just I'm really trying to get this eBay business going, man. Do less DoorDash, 
Uh, that's pretty much the goal is do less DoorDash and more reselling. It's just easier. It's easier. It's funner and, and there's a lot less problems, man. You don't put all this million miles on your car a year. But yeah, anyways, uh, now I have to stop by the post office. I have to go to my girlfriend's house to drop some stuff off. And uh, I also need to pick up some lunch because it is now 2.30 p.m. Then I have to go home, wash everything that I bought, and start listing things up. So, got a pretty busy day ahead of me. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Next thing you guys will see is probably me at home going over all of the things that I bought. So, for now, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys when I show you the clothes. So I was going through and editing the video and completely forgot that I have to go ahead and tell you guys everything that I bought. So starting with this, this is the Sky Viper M550 Nano Drone. I hope everything is in here. It felt kind of light when I bought it, but it was like uh, stickered, not stickered, like taped closed on both sides. So I'm hoping that everything's in there. This is still brand new right there. So I'm, I'm, a gu I'm a guessing everything's in there. The next thing is the Stone Cask Football Cocktail Shaker. This was a pretty good buy. I mean, it was five bucks what I paid for it, and I think I listed it up for 20. And then everything, the rest of everything we bought is pretty much just shirts. So first of all is gonna be the Amplifier T Adidas. 15 bucks right here, nothing too special. Uh, this one, Patagonia 1973. Patagonia is a very, very good resellable brand. And uh, it has all this stuff right here. It's a slim fit, it's a large. I, I don't know what I paid for. I think it was like five or six bucks, but I always pick up Patagonia because these are great resellable items. Next is a Callaway. Love picking up Callaway. Only issue that I found with this one is you can see uh, the tag. I hate when the tag is not in perfect condition, and I didn't even notice that there was little spots right there. So hopefully this still sells. It is a medium, not the best size, but it's a really nice shirt, and I really like the white around here and uh, on the cuff as well. Uh, moving on, we got some Under Armour action. It's just a regular Under Armour t-shirt, heat gear. It's loose. It's an XL. 15 bucks right here. I paid $3, so that was a pretty good pickup. Next is the Under Armour loose heat gear. Again, this is like one of those fishing button downs. You can see because... All right, Bentley, no, this is not the time to chew on that, bro. Uh, it has these things for like fishing and stuff like that. Oh, okay, okay, Bentley. And I just had to take that away from my dog so I could finish off this video. We got a US Polo association xl brand new button down can't believe i actually found this and it was cheap too it was only like eight dollars and i think i have this listed up for about 25 and it's black black is a very good color to sell white and black generally sell the fastest uh like best colorways and then this was also very awesome that i found i found a brand new Oh, hold on now let me go and try to pull it out brand new polo ralph lauren xxl great size and it was $10. I have this listed up for about $38 on eBay. So if one of you wants to buy it, you know, be my guest, even though I don't tell you guys what my eBay page is. We got a brand new Columbia XL button down. This one actually is for women, but look at the MSRP, $60 XL women's button down. I think this one's listed for about 25. So you, you kind of have to understand that even though it says 60 here, you're not gonna get $60 or really anywhere near that on eBay. Next thing is a another brand new polo this time it's a callaway this one's msrp was actually 75 dollars i was thinking about I, I was thinking of returning it there was a little bit of a mistake not a mistake but a little problem uh somewhere on the shirt but as i was kind of like rubbing it it just kind of went away so yeah we got a brand new callaway so that's a really good flip and then these two right here we might as well talk about together uh brand new arrow 1851 both msrps are 40 dollars both brand new polos i have these lauded up together because separately one they don't sell fast and two they don't really resell for great money even though it's a 40 dollars msrp i see them going for about 15 to 20 dollars on ebay right and i bought both of them for five dollars so ten dollars for the pair i have it listed up for 35 dollars and i think it should sell pretty good and that's all the stuff that i found i found a lot of brand new things a lot of very good used things and i am i mean i'm, I'm looking to make a lot of money on these purchases. Okie dokie, now I went through all that, now I have to put this in the video and close it out.